Hi guys, Virginia here and I'm back with another 12 by 12 process video for you today and this one's for the Spiegel Mums Preps Design Team and I'm using the Hippity Hoppity um, Sequin Mix. The a tiny little bunnies in it were just too cute not to use. So I'm doing an Easter layout today um, and the colours in this mix went really really well with the Pink Free Studio Everyday Musings collection so that's what I'm pairing it with and so I've just cut a cut file I wanted to make a shaker pocket with all those cute little bunny heads and sequins and stuff that are in there so um, the cut files one from my shop it's called Extravaganza it's a whole bunch of Easter eggs so it'll make a great background and great for um, popping some shaker pockets in it um, and around the cut file so I'm going to go through and back the cut file I'm not going to back all of the eggs entirely um, the some of them I'm just going to back parts of them the flower ones are the ones that I am going to make shaker pockets in them so I'm just going to go ahead and kind of start backing them and this is I'm just going to show you a little bit of my process um, I don't make you watch at all um, I found that this cut file lended itself best to kind of trace the shapes and then cut them out so that's what I'm doing here I'm just flipping over the pattern paper I flipped over the cut file as well so it's front facing down and I'm tracing the inside portion of the piece that I want to back and then I'm just cutting a little bit outside that pencil line so I don't need to worry about erasing pencil lines or anything like that um, it's just for this cut file this was the best way for me to do it so I've gone ahead and backed all the pieces that I wanted to. I've popped acetate on all of those ones with the flowers behind. You've just seen me pop the last bit of acetate on. I'm going to leave that to sit for a little bit to kind of dry and then I will trim off the acetate. Just because the acetate's really smooth, it's sometimes hard for the glue to adhere. Um, you can use a dry adhesive like some tape, but the cut file lines are rather thin. So... Um, for this one I'm using glue. So that's why I'm just going to leave them to sit there while I find a suitable background pattern paper. And I've gone with this lovely green. Um, and I'm now, if they're kind of dry enough, I'm going to trim off that acetate um, on the background of the cut file. So I'm just going to go through with my little fine tip scissors and just trim close to the edge. And then I've gone ahead and backed all of that cut file with some adhesive foam just behind the bits that have been... Um, had pattern paper added to them and now I'm going to make those little shaker pocket wells on the little flower easter egg so I've just got some really thin I've chosen white foam just because I wanted to make sure that there was no colored foam seen beneath this one um, and I've trimmed a really thin little line and just adhered it to the cut file around the entire circumference of where I want the, the shaker pocket to be and um, now I'm just kind of flipped it over and I'm going to fill in all those little wells. Now I did, I wasn't thinking about it, rather late at night when I was doing this. <laughs> I do silly things late at night. <laughs> Popped adhesive foam behind those flowers in the shaker pockets and they were getting in the way. I do end up having to peel it off um, because it just kind of made filling those little shaker pocket wells um, quite hard. So I'm just popping the sequins in where I want them to be and now you can see I'm having to peel off that foam. Um, from underneath those flowers uh, because it was in the way of my little shake, shake of sequins so I'm just peeling that off I have to peel the tape off as well just going to have to quickly do that and I'm quite happy with that so we're going to glue it all down so I'm just going to lift up the top half and I moved all the sequins of course <laughs> I could have popped them back in place and now I can kind of glue that top half so I do skip a, little, a lot of this out because my head does end up being in the way but I'm putting glue around the entire circumference that you can see here of where the shaker pocket is going to be and on the rest of the foam as well and just pressing it down. So that's all done. Put my little sequence to the side and now I can work on the rest of the layout. So I'm just going to trim down my photos. I've got two of them here. They are of course Easter photos. It's Edison in the backyard on a bit of an Easter egg hunt. She's got a little basket and she's rummaging around the garden trying to find eggs and the colours in the photo just worked perfectly too it was just everything was meant to be <laughs> we've got blues and greens and pinks in the photo and we've got it all going on in the background and in the sequence as well so I'm really loving this layout I'm just going to do a really thin border of this light blue pattern paper from the 6x6 paper pad behind the photos and that's it nothing else um, I didn't want to cover up too much of those shaker pockets um, so that's why I've done that and I've just kind of set the um, photos one on top of the other just on a bit of an angle I like to do that with two photos it kind of 
uh, draws your eye in to them. Okay, I pop them up on a little bit of adhesive foam as well, just so I can start tucking some die cuts and stickers and stuff in and around them. So now I can go through the die cut pack. Um, and we've got some frames as well in this collection, so I decided to bring a couple of them in. Um, I love frames for a base for a cluster. Um, they're a great starting point um, and a great way to frame each of those little clusters. So I'm just going through and looking for some frames. I do have another pack. I've got, I bought this collection and then I got some in a kit as well. So I've got um, quite a bit of it to get through. Um, so I'm just, yeah, that's why we've got double ups of some things. So I've got three frames here. I've got this blue and pink one, a yellow one to the top left of the photos. And I decided to bring the slightly smaller one up that top right hand side. And that's going to kind of be my third cluster. And that's just, those frames are really helping to draw your eye around the page. And, um mean that I can make little clusters within them and it pops a little interest and stuff around the layout so that's where I'm going for now I didn't realize that I had these acetate pieces I totally forgot about them and I could have used them for my shaker pockets and um, they would have been lovely because they've got gold foil detail on them but um, of course I didn't realize that they were there so um, never mind I can definitely use them on another layout so just continuing to go through the die cut pieces, I do fuss with some tags for a bit, they don't end up making it to the layout. We've got a couple of little labels, I'm going to tuck in between my photo and pattern paper layers, I really like the look of that. Just adds pops of colour around the page, or around the photos, and um, they're great spots to put your date as well. So yeah, just continuing to go through, now I'm going to go and pull through, pull out some pieces from the die cut set I want to use, that I think I can get onto this layout. And then I can kind of put the rest away and then that gives me like a focal point to kind of sift through those ones okay I'm happy with these frames and the photos I don't want them to move so I'm going to glue them all down I just trimmed that frame because there was foam behind that photo uh, so that it fit nicely I popped a little bit of glue as well to make sure that it sticks and I'm just going to glue down my photos and then I can glue down the yellow frame And tuck that in place there and then the same with my labels I can glue them in I do move this green one over to the other photo and pop the little purple one at the top and my little sentiment I'm going to pop up on a little bit of foam as well just to give a bit of dimension and I've glued in this pink frame up there And now I can start kind of with those die cut pieces that I've pulled out. So I do try this gold foil one. I really loved it, but it just wasn't fitting. It's a rather large piece. And um, sticking that to the right hand side of the photo, it was a bit too big and um, consumed too much of that space. So I tried it at the top left, and again, it was too big up there. So um, unfortunately, it doesn't make it to the layout, but that's okay. Um, we've got a lot of lovely little pot plants going on. Um, some sentiments and I'm going to go through this little sticker sheet as well and bring some sentiments off there um, I like this one here so that's going to get popped down the bottom of my photos and another one layered on top and I do bring in a puffy sticker sentiment another one down there and um, I layer it up down there as well another one at the top cluster just to bring another sentiment up there and, and now I can go through the puffy stickers there's my third little sentiment down there and I did try that blue flower, but the, the blue was just a bit too much. I wanted to keep the layout rather light. And I did find the word happy, and I thought, well, that's great. Happy Easter. That could be my title. <laughs> so I've got the word happy. I do bring in Easter shortly. I'm just going to bring in a few more flowers and leaves um, from the puffy stickers. Um, and just kind of layer them within those clusters. I'm just going to fuss around with this pink one. I just trim it a little bit. And I do take that darker leaf off. It was just a bit too dark for the layout. A little bird, because why not? And another little flower puffy sticker up that top right hand cluster. And another one to the left of the photo. Just bringing more colour for interest. Okay, so I've gone ahead and glued all of them down. And I can finish off my title. Um, so I'm just looking for the words to spell out, the letters to spell out Easter. Um, and I did initially think I wanted to pop it at the top because of that happy fit nicely. It's just sat nicely with the H and the P around that frame. Um, but the title, um, as you would have seen, just kind of hung off the bits of the cut file a bit wrong. So I tried it down the bottom. I thought I could probably fit it down there, but Easter wouldn't fit around the base of an egg. So 
I end up going with to the right of the photo and I've just squished it up quite a bit and it just fits on that cut fold there so that's where it's going to sit and then happy will sit on the top of that photo so it sits quite nicely there as well um yeah so that'll do I'm just gluing down that R to make sure it sticks it's kind of hanging off the edge a little bit and, and now I can add some more sparkly little detail. The thing I love about the sequin mix as well is not just the bunny heads, is there's a tiny little blue flowers which are gorgeous. And there's some kind of cloudy white ones. So I'm going through and adding a bunch of those larger white ones which are so, so, so gorgeous. Um, just scattering them around the page. And then I go and add some of the green circular uh, sequins and the little blue flowers as well. And they're just so pretty. I just, I love this mix. Really, really loving it so I'm going to go just continue to add them around scattering them out add, they're adding little pops of color and sparkly interest onto the layout so I'm just scattering them around on top of the cut file on top of embellishments on the background just adding them all around and some flat blue sequins as well bringing some interest to the page just continuing to add them and I wanted something in the center of the, those little white flowers so I first pulled out a pink Nuvo Drops and I tried to unclog the end and got a <laughs> my metal pokey tool fell apart and got stuck in the end so <laughs> um, it was rather late at night and I could not be bothered going to try to find a tool to pull it out so I've gone with a really nice light blue um, it's called ducky blue Nuvo Drops and I've just popped a little dot of that in each of those white flowers and you can see them and the close-ups now just to finish off those flowers but um that's it for my layout i hope you enjoyed the process and um i'll see you guys next time